welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so that means it is a grocery haul day. I have quite the haul this week. I shopped at both Walmart and Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, so I have quite a large haul. And I have a absolutely exciting, delicious meal plan and meal prep for this upcoming week. I'm excited about both. I seriously cannot wait. So if you wanna see what I picked up for groceries for the week, meal plan and meal prep, just stay tuned. So here's my Walmart grocery haul for the week. I did do a pickup. So just picked up a few of my essentials that I grab from Walmart. So let's see what I picked up. First, I went ahead and grabbed a case of water. I did buy a Brita water pitcher at Costco. So I've been using a lot less bottled water, which was my plan. And that's been just a game changer for me. I drink a lot of water, over 100 ounces a day, and I was drinking, you know, 10 of these water bottles. So it's better that I just use my Brita, but I like to have these on hand for on the go. And my husband takes a couple with him every day to work. Also, I've decided I do not care for the Walmart brand of the fat-free cheese. So I'm just going to suck up the price difference here and pick up the Kraft fat-free cheddar. It tastes much more like cheese and it doesn't have that plasticky texture that the Walmart brand does. So well worth double the price in my opinion. Colby Jack cheese slices. This is for my husband and we are going to do cheese and crackers on Super Bowl. So I thought that I would just grab this and have on hand. It is only three smart points per slice. So we can still work this into our Weight Watchers day. But I did grab this Sargento Ultra Thin Colby Jack. Fred Meyer does not carry this. So I thought since I was going to do a Walmart pickup, I would grab it. One smart point for one slice. So great option if you're looking for real, not reduced fat cheese, but it is a very, very thin slice, but it still does the job. And some Parmesan, you can see that I buy a lot of cheese at Walmart only because it is less expensive. So just a package of the Frigo shredded Parmesan cheese. And then I picked up this Pioneer Woman baking dish. You guys, this is so incredibly cute. Look at that. It's the perfect size for casseroles, brownies. It's an eight inch dish. And I tend to use this size a lot and I was looking for a ceramic one and um, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. It's adorable. And also from Pioneer Women, I grabbed a water mug. And again, just to have at home, I have my big water jug that I like to drink out of too, but this is just much more convenient at home. It comes with a lid and a straw and it looks like it's a 32 ounce mug i believe yep 32 ounces so it's perfect drink a few of those every day and i'll get my water in low fat cottage cheese i've been craving my cottage cheese crouton contraption that i love so i went ahead and picked up some cottage cheese another thing that we've discovered that we're obsessed with are these bagged salad cucumbers look at these little mini cucumbers Fred Meyer, again, does not carry these. My husband has been loving them. We literally eat them like a pickle. You can also cut them into discs. I did dip them in my Hope hummus, which was so good. So I'm gonna pick up some more of that hummus. But these little mini cucumbers, they're delicious. We love them. Also, two bags of the Walmart brand, the Organic Steamable California Blend carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. I actually picked, wanted one zucchini, but they substituted it for another California blend, which is fine. I do like the organic and actually the price is $2 at Walmart for the organic. So definitely a great deal. So two of those green olives. You guys know my husband loves these. Plus I do like to put these on salads. I know that may sound weird to you, but it's delicious. So just a jar of green olives. Also another container of dill relish. My husband likes egg salad and tuna for lunch. So I used the rest of what we had in his tuna fish this week. And then of course a staple Jif whips. I love this on my rice cake that I showed you guys in my what I eat in a day this last Wednesday. Best dessert for three smart points. So I picked up another container of Jif whips. So that's everything from Walmart. So let's go ahead and jump in to Fred Meyer. So here's my grocery haul from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. I had quite a haul this week. So let me show you what I picked up from my local Fred Meyer. First they had their bubbly sparkling water on sale and I love these. These were four for 10. So 250 a pack, which is pretty good. They're normally about 399. So I stocked up, I have pineapple and watermelon, which I've never seen either of these flavors before. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also got cranberry and grapefruit. Hi bud. 
So I have four packs of the bubbly sparkling water. And of course those are zero smart points. Also some roasted red peppers. These are just in water. So I count these as zero points because there's nothing added. There's no oil or anything in these peppers. And I needed these for a recipe. I also picked up another container of garlic powder. I had a great coupon for this brand and my garlic powder is about half full. This is a little bit more on the pricey side, but this garlic powder is really, really delicious. So Spice Islands garlic powder, highly recommend. Also some hope hummus and kale pesto. I picked this up last week. You guys know that I loved it. It is so delicious. It literally tastes like pesto. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So I do have some little mini cucumbers to dip into that and you can also dip crackers, pretzels, really, really delicious. And then I have a pound here of the cherry wood ham and this is from private selection brand you can have two ounces for two smart points so that's a great thing just to have as a snack so i figured that i could have this in a cheese stick or this in cottage cheese as an afternoon snack also i finally found some flavored unsweetened applesauce so this is the cherry no sugar added so i definitely wanted to grab that it sounds really delicious and anytime there's no sugar added it's zero points on all plans so i picked that up Another dozen of eggs. Of course, my Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs are one of my very favorites. They were actually out of the happy egg, so I went ahead and grabbed the Vital Farms. Also, there was a great price on steak. So these are um, petite sirloins. These are pretty low in smart points, and it is almost barbecue grilling time. So I picked these up. I'm going to throw them in the freezer, and we can have these for our first official barbecue of 2020. I also got a chub here of the 93.7 lean ground beef. I had a coupon and this is not too bad in smart points. I usually do 96.4, but this will work in a pinch. And again, it was a great price. Of course, my Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. This is for an upcoming recipe. So I picked that up and hash browns. This is for my morning breakfast prep. You guys, I'm so excited for meal prep again this week. You can tell that I'm doing some sort of a hash brown something. So I picked up the Orita shredded hash browns. And then I saw these when I was actually looking for the enlightened ice cream bars. I love them. I love the ch coffee chip, I think it is. And they didn't have any. And then I saw this peanut butter chocolate chip and I said oh 100 calories it's probably going to be four or five points I scan this and it's three smart points so one of the best as far as ice cream bars go this simple truth brand is a Fred Meyer or Kroger it's their organic brand so three smart points for these ice cream bars I thought was a stellar deal so picked that up and then I got these for my husband but these are actually really low in smart points these are the Welch's fruit snacks these are just the mixed fruit so definitely something you can incorporate into your plan because again they are really low in smart points also some light sour cream from Tillamook we need this for an upcoming dinner recipe also some more fat free half and half for coffee as well as a recipe and then shocker some more fat free ready whip staple in my house pick it up every week i also grabbed some more bread for my husband this is the sourdough wide pan bread this is great for three smart points so if you want a real full size dense piece of bread you can have it for three smart points generally so not bad so if you buy it for your family or your husband you can still have it and incorporate it into your plan and then I grabbed these private selection Italian urban garlic sub rolls. These are actually the lowest smart point rolls, hoagie rolls I could find because I need hoagie rolls for an upcoming recipe. And these were five points, I believe. So one of the lowest that I could find as far as full size hoagie rolls. And this sounds really good with the urban garlic. And then before we get into veggies, I have one sweet potato for a recipe and then a bag here of the private selection petite fingerling potatoes. And this is also for a sheet pan recipe coming up this next week. Everything else is veggies. I bought a lot of veggies. So I have some key limes here. This is for my water. So I've been loving lemon in my water, but I decided this time I was going to get some key limes. I've heard that they're great for water. I'm just going to cut it in half and toss it in. So picked up a bag of those. Also, I needed spinach for a recipe, and I'm going to start incorporating spinach into my smoothies. And this was on sale for $1.79, so couldn't beat that. Baby broccoli florets. I love these little baby broccolis, and I need broccoli for my breakfast prep. So I thought these little baby florets would be the way to go for that. I also grabbed some Simple Truth Berry Medley, and this is for my meal prep this week and a bag of peas and carrots. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. 
Bananas is one of my fruits for the week along with the cherry unsweetened applesauce. And I also grabbed Honeycrisp apples, so that's going to be my second fruit for the week. Brussels sprouts, I need these for a dinner recipe. A yellow pepper, asparagus for a dinner recipe, and then whatever's left over we will have as a side. Two white onions and one red onion. Four big on the vine tomatoes for a recipe. And lastly, three stalks of celery. I did not show you the Diet Coke that I picked up for my husband. So this is everything I picked up this week from Fred Meyer. Let's get into my meal plan and meal prep. So I had a request last week that I go through my meal plan and meal prep first and then walk you guys through my carryout meal planner afterwards. That way those of you that watch every week don't have to sit through the walkthrough of the carryout because most likely you already have one and you know exactly what the meal planner looks like. So this week and moving forward, we're gonna jump right into meal plan and meal prep and then I'll show you guys my meal planner. So this is the week of January, oh, wrong week. Hello, Jen. This is the week of February 1st through February 7th. Can you even believe it is February? Legit, it's crazy to me. So this is what is on my meal plan for this week. Saturday is the day that I use my weekly, so of course I'm gonna be going out for dinner. Sunday's the Super Bowl, so I'm gonna throw in some chicken and dumplings. We are staying on track on Super Bowl, or I am, because I'm gonna indulge on Saturday, so I will be on track, so I'll make sure that I have a meal plan to help me stay on track. Monday is a leftovers night because I go to Jazzercise. Tuesday, I'm making taco lasagna. I have heard this is delicious. Those of you on my Facebook group that are part of my meal plan service have told me this recipe is amazing, so I can't wait for it. Wednesday is a leftover night strictly because it's a jazzercise night. Thursday, I'm gonna be making a sausage sheet pan dinner. I'm very excited about this. It sounds really good. And then Friday, we're gonna do a ham and asparagus dinner. This is another one that I'm really, really excited about. So those are the meals I have planned for the week. On the back here, I just jot down what I'm doing for meal prep. It just makes it really easy. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making, let me flip this, make it a little easier on you guys. There we go. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a broccoli sausage and egg casserole. I'm excited for this. I need to start punching in some veggies with my breakfast, so this recipe is going to do just that. For lunches this week is going to be pesto chicken salad sandwiches. This sounds also freaking delicious. I love pesto. I'm obsessed with pesto. It's usually really high in points, so I was excited to find a chicken salad recipe with pesto that was really good in points, so I'll be making that. And then definitely stay tuned for these jam bars. We're making a homemade zero point jam and we are filling a bar with it, like a granola bar. I'm very excited about that. So again, all of these recipes will be shown on Monday in Meal Prep Monday. So now let's jump in to my Carriel Meal Planner. So this is my Carriel Meal Planner. I do have the large one, the eight and a half by 11. It's beautiful, stunning, comprehensive. I love it. There's some tabs here for you to track your meals and your ingredients and foods that you have on hand. The first tab is resources. That's where you can jot down your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites and just take note of everything and anything food or recipe related. Also, the inventory tab is where you will inventory your freezer, your pantry, and your spice inventory. That way you can keep track of what you have and the expiration date really good idea. We'll go ahead and come back to the meal plans. The gatherings tab, again, is similar to the meal planning tab where you can plan your gatherings. What you're gonna be preparing, what you're going to need for supplies and for the kids, as well as a detachable grocery list for you to take to the grocery store to buy the items for your gathering. So I really like this section. I've used it quite a bit. And then there's also a blue tab, which is just a note section where you can just jot down notes and recipes. And then in the back, there's this cute two-sided folder. What I do is put my printed out recipes in there for the week so that it's easy for me to just grab them and make them for dinner. So now we're gonna go back to the yellow tab. And that is the tab where we plan our meals. So every month there is a month at a glance calendar. I 
just did this one for February. And basically what I do is I list out everything I'm making for dinners for the week. So I only track my dinners because I meal prep breakfast and lunch, but you can actually track all your meals, but I will list out everything I'm making for dinners for the week. And that way the night before I can make sure I have my meat out of the freezer and also that I have all of my ingredients on hand. So this is what I am doing for the month of February as far as my meals go. And then each week you also have a weekly menu like you saw where you can plan out your meals. Again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you prefer. And again, a detachable grocery list. As you saw, mine's missing from this week because I do take it to the grocery store with me every single week. So amazing. I love this meal planner. It's very comprehensive. It's beautiful. I've had this one just about a year. It's almost done. So I've went ahead and ordered the new cover. I'm just waiting to get through this one. If you're interested in Cariel, my code here on the screen will give you 10% off and there's click the link down in the description box and enter the code at checkout and you get 10% off. So check out the Cariel meal planner. In my opinion, it's a must have. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fun foods and some new foods that I found this week as well. Also my meal plan and my meal prep. Don't forget meal prep will be up on my channel on Monday and you will see a lot of these recipes in future videos as well. Make sure you check out the description box below for all the links to my favorite things and all of the discounts. I can save you on some of my favorite products and maybe there's a few of your favorite products that have a discount as well. So check out that description box. Also in the description box is the link to my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined us, come on over. We'd love to have you. It's such a great place to be. Lots of inspiration and support. So welcome over to that community as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe, do all the things, hit the bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. That way you're not missing out. Also thumbs up if you love some grocery hauls and leave your comments down below. I wanna hear what meal are you most excited about? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he stops?